You and your family are going broke right now, and you don't even know it. When the gold standard was set in place, the price of gold remained a constant $20.65 per ounce, and this price fluctuated only one penny over the years 1833 to 1890. That means that for 57 years, the U.S. dollar was literally as good as gold. And that's how the United States currency was designed to be from the very beginning. The Constitution states that our currency was meant to be only gold and silver to prevent exactly what's happening to the U.S. dollar right now. From the years 1891 to 1930, the price of gold per ounce was still very stable. The low was $20.58 per ounce and the high was $21.32. And this means that between the years of 1833 to 1930, for a total of 97 years, the price of gold changed in U.S. dollars only 74 cents from top to bottom. Interestingly enough, the price of gold hit an all-time low during the Depression year of 1931. And many people believe this is done on purpose by the newly formed Federal Reserve to really twist the knife in the economy of the day. By reducing the total amount of money in circulation and thus making even the smallest amount of money very tough to come by. There is a common mistake by some people to think that the Great Depression is why the Federal Reserve was created. The truth is the Federal Reserve was in fact created in 1913, and this is well before the Great Depression. Since the Fed's creation, we've been slowly going off the gold standard, until finally, on August 15, 1971, President Nixon, one of the worst presidents in our country's short history, announced the United States would no longer redeem U.S. currency for gold. And this was the final step in abandoning the gold standard. What is important is to visually see the devaluation of the U.S. dollar since we were taken off the gold standard. Keep in mind the price of gold really doesn't go up or move. It has historical value. It is extremely consistent. So instead of seeing this as the price of gold going up, you need to see this as the value of the dollar dropping like a rock. The price of gold has been flying right now. It has recently been as high as $1,030 an ounce all the way down to $870 an ounce. And what I find most interesting is if you want to buy a brand new Corvette convertible in 2008, it would cost roughly $55,000. So in gold, that would be roughly 60 ounces of gold at the spot price of $930 per ounce. So at the time when gold was $930, you could basically take 60 one ounce gold coins, cash them in, and buy that very same car. Inversely, if you remove inflation and the devaluation of the dollar as that the U.S. currency was still attached to the gold standard as it was originally intended when this country was founded, that same car being bought with the same 60 ounces of gold would have a gold standard value of only $1,200 or the same 60 $20 one ounce double eagles. So if that car price today is $55,000 and the gold standard value is $1,200, this means that we're sitting on roughly $53,800 inflation over the last hundred years for a $1,200 item. This brings the original dollar value to roughly two cents of today's money. I'm sure this is pretty tough to imagine and some people can't handle this concept and will try and blow it off as incorrect. The fact is, this is what's really going on with our currency. Don't believe me? Try this one. Back in 1964 and earlier, a quarter would buy you roughly a gallon of gas. This is because the quarters made in 1964 and earlier were made of 90% silver and 10% copper. So the spot price of silver being $17.20 an ounce, this makes that quarter's actual value $3.11. So you can see that same 1964 quarter will still buy you roughly a gallon of gas today. And in case you're wondering, it takes about five and a half silver quarters to make up a full ounce of silver. This is a fact. The price of gold may fluctuate with the value of the dollar. This doesn't change the fact that precious metals such as gold and silver have maintained their value throughout time. And the only thing that changes is the value of the currencies that are not tied to gold and silver. This is what the Founding Fathers warned us about and tried to prevent from happening with the Constitution. What people need to understand is that the excess printing of the United States currency is just another tax on the American people. It takes the value of the dollars that they have and makes them worth less in the long run. Meanwhile, you're still making roughly the same amount of money, yet the prices for everything from gas to milk are going up constantly, when in fact, nothing is really going up in price, it's the dollar's actual value that's been dropping and not prices going up. I can't emphasize this enough. If you like this video and find it helpful, please rate it and share your comments on the subject, favorite it, and most importantly, please share this video with everyone you know. I can't tell you how important this is. We need to let people know that they're losing all they work so hard for and they don't even know it. 
And only with your support and help can videos like this be seen by people that really need to see what's going on with their money and the economy of the United States. So please help support this channel and others like it.